Hello everyone and welcome back to my Mike Tyson's Punch-Out High Score tutorial. In this video I will be explaining what the punch counter is, what the star punch counter is, and opponent dodgeability. First up I will be talking about the punch counter. This video will be broken down into three separate sections so time codes will be on screen now if you want to jump to the star punch counter and opponent dodgeability. Whilst playing this game, you may have noticed that you can get stars to use a strong uppercut punch called a star punch. Getting and using stars will be absolutely essential in attaining high scores against your opponents. There are two types of stars in this game, guaranteed stars and random stars. The punch counter is the way the game keeps track of if it owes you a guaranteed star on the next eligible punch. Fortunately, some fights in this game do not require punch counter knowledge as they only have guaranteed stars. Those fights are Piston Honda 1, Don Flamenco 1, Great Tiger, and Bold Bull 2, so this part of the guide will not be needed for them. Additionally, you cannot get stars at all on King Hippo, so this guide does not apply to him. Like I said earlier, the punch counter keeps track of when the game will give you a guaranteed star on the next eligible punch. You have the potential to get a star on any punch that connects, as long as it is not a stun punch. Let's take a look at an example, Piston Honda 2. It's common knowledge that you cannot get your first star on Piston Honda 2 until the fourth punch of the fight. On the left side of the screen now, I have put a visual representation of the punch counter. When the counter hits 3, the game now knows it owes you a star on the next eligible punch. If you perform punches that cannot give you a star, the counter will still increase up to but never pass 3. Take a look at these scenarios and keep track of the relation to the punch counter and when I obtain the guaranteed star. After you get the first guaranteed star of the fight, the game will change up how many punches you need to get your next guaranteed star. Piston Honda 2's initial magic number is 4, and after that, it changes to 2, and remains at 2 for the rest of the fight. That means, after getting your first guaranteed star, you can now get a guaranteed star every second punch. Let's take a look at a more complicated scenario and follow along with the punch counter. There are two specific things in this phase that may have seemed out of the ordinary, the first of which is me getting a star on the ninth punch of the fight. On the preceding punch, I got a guaranteed star, which reset the punch count to zero. On that ninth punch, the punch counter increased by one, and I also got a star. This was not a guaranteed star, it was a random star. Like guaranteed stars, random stars can be attained on any punch that is not a dodge and counter punch. To get a random star, three requirements must be fulfilled. Firstly, you must not double hit with your opponent. Secondly, you must not get a guaranteed star on that punch as guaranteed stars take precedence. And thirdly, you must have at least one star in the bank. Random stars, as their name states, are random, and you may not be awarded one even if you meet all the other requirements. Their odds are set for each fight and range from a 1 in 2 chance, like on Honda 2, all the way down to a 1 in 16 chance, which is found on Don Flamenco 2. Mike Tyson has an interesting case for random stars, and I will cover that in his own video. The second specific thing I wanted you to take away from that clip was on the final punch of the phase. As I knocked down Piston Honda, you may have noticed that the punch counter did not increment. 
On punches that knock down opponents, the punch counter never increments, meaning you will have to land an extra punch to get your next guaranteed star. It is very easy to completely forget about this small exception, and it even catches me out at the best of times. Finally, when you double hit with your opponent, the punch counter will also not increment. As rare as a double hit is, it is important to know that rule as well. Now that I've finished talking about getting stars, let's talk about using stars and the star punch counter. Landing star punches are going to be your most efficient way to score points per unit time and are heavily featured in high score strategies. I will now display the star punch counter on screen. The star punch counter is used for determining when an opponent can dodge your star punches. This counter increments the moment Little Mac begins to use a star punch. I will again use Piston Honda 2 as an example. Firstly, I am using an emulator with a Lua script for this section of the video, which displays useful information such as damage my punches do and the opponent's hit points. Piston Honda 2 begins dodging when Little Mac begins using his fifth star punch. Let's see that in action. As you saw, Piston Honda dodged that fifth star punch. What if I told you that just because an opponent is in their dodging state doesn't mean they will dodge your star punch? Take a look at this. In this clip, Piston Honda took that fifth star punch. The only reason he didn't dodge was because it did a different amount of damage than the standing there damage, which for Piston Honda 2 is 15. Likewise, that final star punch in phase 1, the one that did 22 damage, can also never be dodged. The 14 damage star punch you saw at the very end was done by landing it into eyebrows early, and the star punch you saw do 22 damage was done by landing it into eyebrows late. There are five main ways to change the star punch damage. 1. Have the opponent be stunned as the star punch lands. 2. Land an unstunned star punch directly after an opponent's punch. 3. Land a star punch into one of the opponent's moves. 4. With a specific guard manipulation. And 5. With the stun glitch. So all in all, you can circumvent opponents dodging your star punches even when they are in a dodging state by making them take a different amount of damage than the standing there damage. However, it might be too difficult or less optimal to land these types of star punches when you need them most. And thankfully, the programmers of the game have put in a method to reset the opponent's dodgeability. There is only one method to reset the opponent's ability to dodge star punches. Step 1. Use at least one more star punch than the number they would normally take. For Piston Hunter 2, that would be five star punches, since he takes four before dodging. And step two, get to three stars in the bank. Let's see that in action. It has been said in the past that all you need is three stars in the bank, which is false. 
you can see from this demonstration here. After a successful reset of the opponent's ability to dodge, the number of star punches they can now take will be a new value and remain at this value for the rest of the fight. For example, Piston Hunter 2 can take 4 star punches. After a reset, he can take 2. After another reset, he can take 2 more, and so on. To conclude this video, I would like to add that the punch counter and star punch counter carry over in between rounds. And at last, we have the fundamental knowledge to begin routing some killer high score strategies. In the next video, we will finally be able to get into our first fight, Glass Joe.